today we're going to show you how to replace the old WNF 6 inch center to center bore handle set with the replacement 852 handle set and I will have links in the product description that will take you directly to uh, the 852 handle set where you can order it on our website. Here is one of the WNF old style handle sets that was used on a herd door. It has that straight lever and that sometimes even had the name herd on the lever. Um, this is a picture of another style 6 inch WNF handle set that was used that had the curved lever on the left and then on the right is a picture from our customer um, with our 852 handle set. So either one with a 6 inch center to center bore, the 852 will, will work for you. So before you order our 852 handle set, you just want to make sure you do have the 6 inch center to center bore. You do that by getting a tape measure and measuring from the center of the deadbolt to the center of the latch. If that is six inches, you are good to go. That's a six inch center to center bore. If you have the five and a half version, which WNF also made, the 852 will not work for you. This one only works for the six inch center to center bore. To remove your old handle set, you're going to lock the deadbolt, which exposes your first mounting screw, which you will unscrew. and then underneath the lever is your second screw. Once you remove both of these screws, your interior sketch and plate and your exterior sketch and plate will come right off. And just remember too, when you are installing your handle set, always use hand tools, don't use a drill so you don't strip out any of the screws when you're installing them by over tightening them. The 852 does also come with a new deadbolt and latch um, in corresponding colors to whatever handle set you order. Um, so you can remove your old ones by just removing the two screws. I'm going to use the white handle set so it comes with a silver latch and deadbolt and stripe plates. So once everything is removed, you're going to take your exterior sketch and plate and you're going to insert the key cylinder. You insert the cylinder from the back of the exterior sketch in into the cylinder housing. And then you take the eight, number eight by 32 by 38 screw, and then you secure it in place. Once that is done, you're going to install the deadbolt and it will say up on the side of the deadbolt. You wanna make sure that's facing up to install it correctly. And then you secure it in place with two of the number eight by three quarter screws that come with your kit. And then next you're going to install the latch. And so you want to make sure the bevel of the latch is facing towards the exterior escutcheon or the exterior of your door. And then secure it in place with the two number eight by three quarter screws as well. Your door panel thickness, which is called the cross bore, can be uh, two and an eighth which this handle set fits. If it's thinner, like an inch and 13 16 cross bore, then there are removable posts that you have on the exterior interior scutcheon. And there's four of them on each plate shown here. And those are just unscrewed with a flathead screwdriver. Um, if you have that thinner door panel, you just remove those before you install the escutcheons. Next, you're gonna install your exterior scutcheon. So you're gonna use the black gasket and you're going to take the tail piece of the keyed cylinder and it goes into the cross hole. And then you insert the drive rod where your lever is and that goes into the square hole of the latch. Once the exterior sketch and plate is put on, you're going to need to hang on to it because it's not secured to your door yet, so it could fall off. So hold on to it or have someone else hold on to it for you while you install the interior sketch in you'll see that that plate has a horizontal slot, so you're gonna to need to take the keyed cylinder tail and turn it to engage the deadbolt so you can install the interior escutcheon. Once that's done, you unlock the deadbolt again to expose the mounting screw holes, and you use your two number 10 32 by 2.2 inch mounting screws to secure down the escutcheon plates to your door. Once they're both screwed down, it will be secure. So next you're going to install your lever. 
and 50% of the time it will be handed correctly for you because the lever comes installed on the interior scutcheon and they're reversible. So you can see here when I go to install the exterior lever, I notice that it's handed wrong from the factory. So that's not a big deal if that happens to you. What you need to do is take the interior lever off and you do that. There's an Allen wrench that comes with your um, handle set and you unscrew the set screw and remove that lever. You're going to use that for the outside and you take the other lever and put it in on the interior. And to know you have it handed correctly, you always want that set screw hole to be on the bottom of the lever. And then before you install the lever on the exterior, you need to put in the black gasket and it's labeled as out. So you put it in with the word out facing towards you and towards the lever. And then install your other lever, put in the set screw with the Allen wrench till it's tight. And now your handle set's installed and then check for operation. Check your levers and also check your deadbolt and also the key to make sure it locks and unlocks properly. This is the white handle set that I'm using and it will also come with two strike plates that you'll install on the frame of your door for the deadbolt and for the latch. And there's just two screws that you'll screw onto the frame to secure those in place as well. As I'm using the white handle set, all the deadbolt latch and strike plates come in silver. But this handle set comes in oil rub bronze, which is real dark, almost black, satin nickel, and bright brass as shown here. And the deadbolt latch and strike plate come in coordinating colors. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.